top of the morning. So, if you take this road, we're right here right now at this information. So we came yeah. from Claire's home. Yeah. And if we go down this road, this east Trout Creek Road, mm -hmm. goes to this place where there's horse stables and camping. And these are all four by four road trails. Hmm. Well, I don't want to stay in a designated camping area no. where... This whole area. Okay. Well, sometimes I think we should listen to that inner voice or the voice of your wife, the one that says, you know, there's a moment of indecisiveness and uh, maybe you should listen. Uh, well, I didn't. I decided to uh, let my adventures take the best of me and went down this muddy, muddy road. But sometimes these roads take you to some epic places and uh, this is no different. We found ourselves in the Porcupine Hills. It is located east of the Highway 22 in a place that is breathtaking and different from all other locations in the Livingstone region. It begins south of the Kananaskis and extends all the way to the Crow's Nest Pass. It is a key area of connectivity for the grizzly bear and elk. Its grasslands important for ranching and conserving species at risk. It has many species of fish that are native to that area. It is deemed one of Alberta's most iconic and diverse landscapes. There are five distinct vegetation types, grassland, parkland, montane, subalpine and alpine. Nowhere else in Alberta do these vegetation types coexist in such a close proximity. So when we packed up today for this long weekend trip, we had three designated spots that we were planning to go. Um, but like I said, it's not always what you plan. Sometimes you decide to try something else, maybe because it is closer or places just haven't seen. But sometimes you always go back just to the comfortability of it all and places you know and you know you get the roundabout feel from everybody too what they want to do so this uh place will be on one of our bucket lists i think uh we'll go back and have a better look at it the trails were really sloppy and as you will see uh the title muddy boots uh not so much as for our boots but as the jeep boots it seemed like we added another hundred pounds of mud to our jeeps after this was all said and done but it was fun for the adventure anyways May weather. Now we're snowing. And just look at our Jeeps. They are a filthy mess. I don't know if you can see mine. Filthy, filthy, filthy. Look at the size of this tree. Mass of trees. It just keeps going. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, I know. Concrete it is. Hey, YouTubers, this is our other dog, Allie. Allie, say hi, baby. <laughs> Allie, Allie. She's our old girl. And good. Ruby, of course. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Good. Ugh. Terrible, eh? It's like concrete. Hey, Mandy. You gonna show your face this time? No. No? Uh, did you bring your, your crystals? I did. Ah. <laughs> Good luck charm. Yeah. Ruby, what'd you think, huh? Lots of smells in here. Yeah.
I'm gonna start recording the action. Oh my god, oh my god. It's not funny, Kobe. Seriously. Yeah, there's a big there. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna keep on sliding right over the edge. Dirtiest my Jeep has probably ever been. Thick mud. Ugh. Look at that. Oh my god, what a mess. I used to have door handles. Ugh, what a mess. It's just thick with mud. Only part of my Jeep that's clean is my back. Paul, can you hear me? You think I should go through this water at the end here? It's not bad. Mandy's building a fire pit. Look at her work. What? What's Colby doing? Sitting on his arse, doing nothing. Good fire you got started there, Copes. Awesome. It's nice and warm, eh? So Kobe and Paul is going to sleep, um, they're going to sleep up in the tent, up in the tent, and Mandy and I are going to bunk together in the back of Paul's Jeep. So she's snug as a bug in a rug. Tell them where, tell them where 
tell them where Allie's sleeping. <coughs> so Allie's going to sleep on the top bunk in the back here. Paul has a shelf in his uh, Jeep that Allie can uh, crawl up on and she'll sleep up there. Allie's our older dog. Say hi, Mandy. <laughs> What a trooper. Just to make our camping trip nice. Okay. Not so easy, but it's like any other tent. The elastics hold that part of the tent down. And then the holes that are in these ribbons here, that's where these little pegs sit in. We had one that was... Uh, the, uh, the elastic string inside was busted, so we had to uh, string it out and uh, reattach. So that part's not good. Not when you pay, you know, $400. 400 yeah. It's pretty cool in here. It's got a little towel or paper cover so that if you do happen to shower in here, which is what it's made for, uh, you can keep your paper getting wet. Yeah. And then uh, obviously you have your ventilation down below to dry out your inners. Yeah, all the way around, right? You got like, uh, what's this one? That's, That's a pop. Shampoo. No, it's for oh. a pop. You can hold a drink in there. Oh, wow. So if you want to have your tasty beverage, your adult beverage, you can put it in there. You got hooks all around here so you can hang lights or whatever you need to hang in here. Let's see what they say. And you got this cool little light. It's not really bright, but at night it's probably going to be bright enough. <coughs> yeah, you got all sorts of hooks. I think this is for the built-in shower. You can get a shower for these too as yeah. well. So that's what that'll do. Yeah. And uh, hooks up here and then final one up here. Actually, I think it just sits here and your uh, hose comes out. So it's quite tall. I'm, I'm six feet, so I got plenty of room to, you know, maneuver around and yeah. be easy for a 6'2 guy even. So yeah. that part's really good, you know. Um, you can, they got all sorts of supports. <laughs> they even have a lock on here, apparently. You can lock this. Sure you can. So what'll happen is you do the zipper all the way up and you just put a little lock on the nice. this ringlet yeah. and with your eyelet. So that's quite cool. Yeah. And then, and then the, the window. Yeah, this is a drop down window. I'm not gonna take it apart. These these are just little barrel clips that go around the elastics. Just holds it in place. I think it's gonna be quite nice actually. Yeah. You know, and then you got all your waste paper and cleaning hand sanitizers and our loo in yeah. the corner and look you can even up here is where you can put your shampoos or whatever right oh yeah so, so a net yeah you can yeah. put whatever you want up there so nice. it's you know if you want to keep a watch up there i guess and from yeah. getting wet right yeah. yeah or your briefs or whatever it is that you want to change into so this nemo this is a nemo nemo it's kind of a cool looking little structure but it wasn't that easy to put together yeah i don't know i think it might be because we're at angles and stuff too and a little disappointed that the one part was busted on it yeah you got a but, little place for your towel i don't know if we said that but your little towel yeah, can hang outside hang outside when it's not snowy yeah it's pretty cool yeah so i think that'll and this is where you'll feed your water hose up through oh yeah 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 or if a mouse yeah. likes to go in there that's where a mouse will go <laughs> that's about it so what do you think? Well, I think, you know, it'll do exactly what we need it to do, right? It was just like our uh, Canadian Tire one, Woods, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, we had a Woods one, but the poles broke. So I don't like those poles. These poles look a little beefier. So yeah. So we'll see. They Obviously, do look a little wind, beefier. wind will stand the test of time. And... Yeah. But overall, I think it's pretty good. I don't know, worth 300 or 400 bucks, but. No, I don't think it was, I mean, it's easy to set up once, you know, if I didn't have the poles, if I had to not do the poles. I'll figure these out too. I know how to do it. I just, I did it quickly because it was snowing on me and quite it's rapidly. it's cold. It's still snowing. That's ah, not cold. That's cold. You can feel the heat coming back now with the tarp <laughs> up. You're cold all the time, so. Yeah. Well, I, I'd say, I'd say for all the little gadgets that it's got, it's pretty, pretty neat, but uh, probably not worth um, $400. Yeah, it's a little steep, I think, yeah. for a lot of people, right? For a lot of people, yeah. So, but, but Nemo, Nemo, I like it. 
There We're it not is. sponsored by them, so you know we bought this out of pocket once again. No, just another long weekend. Taking advantage of the weather. It was snowing when we first came, but it cleared up pretty quick and it's being absolutely beautiful today. So I always got a question, like why does food taste so good out camping? Just a different flavor, everything. It's so good. Maybe because we're actually moving around. <laughs> Kobe's close to 18 years of age, so he's drinking one adult beverage, one after another. <laughs> he's under my supervision, he's fine. How are you feeling? Pretty good? So Colby thinks he can climb that mountain up here in, uh, what? An hour. Two. You better pack quite a few pepperonis, cause, and some firewood, maybe. Yeah. Looks like a pretty deep, steep mountain, buddy. Mm -hmm. Slide it, and um, I think you'd, you'd be pretty tall. And I'll show you the mountain that he wants to climb. I don't think it's uh, possible. Oh, yeah, it's like way up there. I don't know. Where the sky touches the hill, yeah. A couple hours, I don't think so. He might be there a few days. My daughter made this a little stone. I don't know ornament. What do they call these things? I don't know, like alien. Uh, alien. No hmm. Yeah. I had something to do with an alien. And not all the time do you ever have to just come out and enjoy fires. Sometimes you can just go in and lay lazily in bed <laughs> and just do what you want to do. Right, Mandy? Mm-hmm. Are you relaxed in there? Mm-hmm. You probably have more room now that mom's not in there, eh? She probably doesn't sleep on top of you. Yep. Hey? Uh -huh. I'll leave you be. Oh, yeah. Got down on my gorgeous. <laughs> I didn't finish the rest of it. Gorgeous for an old fart. Yeah. You're gorgeous. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, look at that fire. I'm going to set the whole camp on fire here. That's beautiful here. Yeah. Yes, dear. Can you shut the main door? Yeah, but I'm not going to. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm just looking out the Jeep window. I slept with Mandy last night in the Jeep. Paul up in the tent with Colby, but I'm just looking out the window and it's absolutely gorgeous outside. Looks like it, eh? That's awesome. We're making power too. So See, it's a little sunnier out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got your solar panels out there, right? Eh? Colby and I could be 21 above in our tent. <laughs> we were minus 21 in our Jeep. <laughs> yeah, our pillows were stuck to the tent this morning. It was that cold out last night. But once you put that diesel heater on, it dries everything out nicely, quickly, and we fell back asleep probably for another two hours after that. Yeah, I heard. You heard nothing. I heard. Hey guys, look at the breakfast we get today. What Relax. do we got on here? Sausages, oh. eggs, oh. Cheese, oh, cheese, onion, on a toasted bagel. Can't beat it. Great outdoors. Gotta love eating out here. Aw. Don't try and catch a tree that's coming down. You go. It's even on your hand down there. Oh, look. there's wood in there. You don't want to do that. Look, right there. Like. Mandy the nurse, she's 
Take Can't get out of the smoke before I die. That way. The wind will still bleed, but we'll be blown out by smoke. His daughter's taking care of him. My wife won't. Come on. What is it? I get a nice fire going, cook your breakfast. I cook oh, well, breakfast. I mean, a little bit. Thanks. Obi and I do nothing. Are gonna crawl up the mountainside. Obi gets all my firewood. Just when he threw that one piece at me, I wasn't ready. All the way up there. We're gonna go explore. Yeah, you guys bring some bear spray. See what's up there. It'd be like Indiana Jones coming back if there is a bear. I'll be Boozy, fine. Boozy, you wanna come? Okay. Ready? I don't know if I can do it with just one hand. Are you gonna help me? Look, look at him boot up the hill. That's a long ways up, man. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Cobs. Troopers. There's nothing even to hold on to. This could take a while. <laughs> There's not nothing even to hold on to oh my god okay good hold on, up on that what good luck getting over the edge okay hold on here go this way here take the camera <laughs> dad the views is that lord of the flies Lord of the Flies, yes. The views that it may get. Put, put your foot on her forehead. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Here. Here. Seriously not going to help me? Watch your head. Oh. Oh. Look at how high we are. Hey, hey, hey. It's not easy, Paul. Okay, hold on. Just don't go too far in, Kobe. We don't know what's up here, man. I got bears. Yeah. It only gets higher. Oh my God. Oh. Hold on. It's scary up here. Yeah, that's like cool. It is. That's scary and slippery. The snow is slippery. Okay, let's just get to even ground. This is cool. Oh, I don't think it goes even higher. No, I don't want to go up too high. Just in case there's something up there. You're actually chicken. What? You're actually chicken. I am. I am chicken. Because there's nowhere but down to go, Kobe. How am I gonna get that? I couldn't even get up that hill. How am I gonna get down it, Roll? Hmm. Yeah, he has it, I think. Whew. What's all that cracking going on over there? No. It's beautiful up here, eh? Yeah. Holy smokes. Trees go on forever up here. Well guys, we had way too much footage here to put all into one video. So next uh, video will be part two of this camping trip. We have epic scenery with the drone, some more night shots of camping scenes, and some hiking. We want to thank you for dropping in and watching our videos. We'll see you on the next one.